2014. I will take it up with the AG. Ordinarily, you know, professional organizations like, uh, like the legal fraternity are normally regulated by professional bodies like the L. I agree with you that uh, there has been a problem of, with the Kenya Youth Council. We need to deal with it. And I have told uh, Ababu Namwamba, my minister for uh, young people, to look at whether we have the government cooperation or a government agency. We want it to be a young people's organization in a way that government influence and government um, uh, intervention is limited so that the young people can speak for themselves. I would welcome ideas, uh, Saruni, from university leadership on how we can make the youth council better, more democratic, and more representative of, uh, of the young people. I couldn't agree with you more on this branding issue. I see faces of people all over the place on government projects that have been done. Uh, this, uh, and, and, I, and, I, and I think it is meant to look like they did it with their own money. I agree with you that this branding, if it costs public money, it should stop. And it is feedback that I am going to take in to see to it that no public money is used to paint people's uh, uh, photo on government projects. Um, let me answer ex councillor Councillor, uh, doctor can be an ex councillor but that is good. He has asked me about um, the NHIF and the transition to shift. Let me tell my brother, uh, I didn't get his name, that the reason why we are shifting from NHIF to shift is because NHIF is limited. NHIF only uh, captures a small section of our society. It is my intention, as I made a commitment to the public, that every Kenyan must have two things, must have access to healthcare and must have access to health insurance. We must make sure that those people, even those who cannot afford NHIF, because there are many people who cannot, who cannot afford the 500 we are paying at the moment. And that is why we have brought in a means testing system so that the people who cannot afford the, the 500, we have now reduced it to 300 under the new program. And even those who cannot afford 300, the government of Kenya is going to pay for them so that no Kenyan will go to hospital, whether they are suffering from hypertension or cancer or diabetes or whatever. Either they get uh, treatment because uh, level one, two, and uh, three are free, or they can go to a referral hospital and there is an insurance system through shift that is that's a social insurance that is going to make sure that uh, uh, their bills are paid. So, and let me tell you, one very important addition to this program is the digital health platform. The biggest problem we have had in NHIF is the digitization process. We get a lot of money because of collusion between hospitals and staff at NHIF. In fact, than medical officers, because they are gaming the, 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 the system. We have now standardized all tariffs. There is no way you can be treated by malaria in one hospital and you pay a thousand and treated for malaria in another hospital and pay 100. We have standardized, whether it is public, whether it is private hospital, we have now standardized treatment. That is what happens world over in countries that, uh, that, that, that understand how to manage uh, mother's, mother's health. So this is a comprehensive program. It is one program that will change the face of Kenya. Kenyans will no longer have to sell their land, sell their property to go and pay for hospital bills. We will all of us stop these harambes and the public collections 
that we are collecting to go and deal with people. So my good friend, this is the plan. We have gone through it with parliament. We have enacted four pieces of legislation. It was my plan to launch it on the first of this month. Unfortunately, because of the challenges we've gone through with the finance bill, we have shifted it to begin 1st of October, but the process of registration has already started. I think we are on day, uh, on day four, and already over 100,000 Kenyans have been registered. So, and I want to encourage all Kenyans to register so that we can be able to plan for our health together as the people of Kenya. And we can even plan for our health commodities and we can be able to uh, secure everybody from matters illness. Thank you very much. Not finish my questions. So as I continue, uh, no, but my main point is corruption, whether it's an HF or chief, I told you, uh, 300 million paid to fake claims around 99 million today early in the morning this will this stop in the new system is it that since you came into power now two years ago the only thing you keep mentioning is the price of unga going down and the housing project which we do know very well will not be occupied with the common monetary uh, uh, like me so do we any have another project that you can always tell us the things you promise a lot of things from police killings yeah. That things are happening. Which one are you going to address other than the two of press of Unga and uh, housing? Now, in the in the police thing, there's somebody as Osama has told you, you have not addressed Osama was asking. There's a police that killed somebody, is believed to have killed the first uh, Rex, the first death of the protests. Still roaming. Yesterday, the other day was seen in a video shooting directly to a crowd. I didn't see the end of the bullets. I cannot tell the crowd to a wall. What is happening to this? When are these people getting arrested? Why is the, what is the CI doing about them? Why is it that the, the nobodies are getting arrested, are in court in, no, in very few days, but then the big, the big boys are just sitting somewhere eating the, my, our, our taxes? What are you doing about them? What, the, what is the direction to address this issue? Thank you. So, and also, if, if you notice that, if you notice something in the pattern, there are the last Mandamano, the, the recent one that was full of goons. How come the first four? First of all, there were no this violence. But then there is the last one with coffin in town and police entertaining, police entertaining these people dropping uh, the coffin from the lorry, as well as seen packing them back in the lorry in the evening. It's clear that somebody was behind this and the police could not touch the very people that were doing this. But when it was another person with a phone and a bottle of water, they get shot, they get tear gassed. What is happening? What are you, why do you speak A and do C? What instruction are you giving to the police? Yesterday I saw that you are praising the police for having done a good job professionally. Well, people died. What, what are we praising here? What can are we, are we looking at? So can we just match the word with the action? We've been talking too much. We see you on TV every day. We, we, now we're on space. When, when are we getting to see action? Let me give space for other people. Thank you. Also, the, Mr. President, have you tried to reach the families of those who were shot dead by the the police or injured by the police even us but let me answer also we'll what, what my friend we'll video the pictures pardon pardon if you're having a difficult locating the, the the police we have videos and pictures of them okay so please, that should be easy please forward uh, the picture and uh, and 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 uh, photos to me to hussein my uh, spokesman here and also i would appreciate if you can send send it to also my inbox if you if you can or if you can send it to uh the uh, independent police oversight authority we will we will deal with it but let me also respond to you about matters corruption i want to promise you that part of the pushback we had on implementing our universal health coverage is because of corruption very many corrupt people who are gaming NHIF were against what we were doing. That is why they went to every court available trying to sabotage this program because they know that they will be out of business once we roll out this program because there will be, there will be no room for them to hide. It is also the reason why, my good friend, I am digitizing government services. 
because I want to reduce the interaction between Kenyans and officers who sometimes ask for, for bribes left, right, and center. I want Kenyans to access public service from the comfort of their offices or their phones or their homes. But let me speak to uh, the subject of uh, corruption in that matter. Number one, we will operate a digital system through and through, whether it is with KEMSA, we are digitizing KEMSA, we are digitizing commodity uh, uh, distribution, we are digitizing um, matters to do with uh, the, the whole, all health hospitals. In fact, the program that is going on now, we have grouped hospitals into PCNs, where we are grouping a number of hospitals into one PCN in every sub-county so that we can identify where these uh, where, where these hospitals are, and we are working uh, with the counties. I know you have said that the only thing I talk about is hunger and housing. Let me also tell you, uh, the whole housing plan is not just about houses, my brother. It is about real people, real jobs. Jobs in our industries that manufacture cement, Jobs in our industries that manufacture uh, steel, jobs in our industries that manufacture clinker, jobs, uh, engineers, architects, accountants, HR managers, and many people who are working in that ecosystem. And beyond that, let me also tell you, my manifesto is a five-year manifesto. What, you are do, you, you, uh, what I am doing now is a cut. There will be an exam in five years. And, and I will tell you, when I do the exam in five years, you will, you, you will see the results. Number two, beyond what I am doing on, uh, on, 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 on the space of jobs around housing, we are all, I am actively doing a big program on digital jobs. I was in Ruiru the other day, launching with CCI, a digital hub that is going to, that is hiring, as I talk to you today, 5,000 Kenyans in Ruiru. I challenge you, you can go to Ruiru tomorrow, to CCI, you will find them working. And they are not the only ones. We have 140,000 Kenyans today who are working in different parts of Kenya, in TVETs, in ICT hubs, who are not working before I came to office. Today they are working. If you go to www.neaims.go.ke, you will see that there are 400,000 jobs on that platform. Different kinds of jobs from different countries. We are now trying to make sure that 400,000, they will be a million, and they will, in, they will be largely, as we conclude these bilateral agreements, bilateral labor agreements, they will include many professional jobs, many skilled jobs. And I want to challenge uh, the, the young people listening to the mechanism where we promote our own manufacturing, local manufacturing, using local materials, hiring local uh, uh, by making supermarket or other countries. Can't hear you, my brother. It's done. Um, only... Okay, another, another one last question. One last question before I give somebody the mic. I have, uh, I have I'm seeing several questions coming, flowing to me. It's also mine. Uh, there's a, I made to understand there's a bill on your table about the MPs at Andy. But if I was coming from Nairobi or somewhere and surrounding, the MPs that really, really need to go home and the law that there is no IBC to be able to do this. Because I passed the bill. It has found its way to my office. And I want to tell you, I will be expeditious. It will not go beyond Tuesday and the bill will be signed and uh, gazetted so that we can proceed with the process. I am just keeping it within the law. Thank you. Thank you. My phone, I don't know why. I mean, if I need a key to. So let's.